we are back once again. So what we're doing? Confront Benny at Top's Casino. So that's what we're doing. It's quite a journey. So let's let's go. checking the train station seeing if there's anything valuable that was easy took two shots hard 75 fancy meeting you here friend oh How did you get here? Just rolling along on my spurs. Looks like I just might make it to New Vegas after all. You see what happened in there? Yep. Guess it's just down to you and Fancy Pants. I wouldn't worry about him. He looks all hat and no cattle if you ask me. Did you see Benny come this way? Fancy Pants? No, I ain't seen hiding a hair of him since the tussle in Good Springs. I'm sure he ran back to the soft living in New Vegas, though. It's good to see you again, Victor. Yep, but this is getting a mighty embarrassing. People gonna start to talk. <laughs> Goodbye. Look me up when you get to New Vegas. I'll buy the first round. Whiskey will draw. Got be fifty. Some Nuka Cola. Some Sunset. Right, let's get to it. Almost on there. Bain to station. Hello? This is a military outpost. Why are you here? Any interesting places around you? Have you ever heard the story of the bomber that crashed into the lake before the war? Supposedly it's mostly intact, even after all that time. So, you're a ranger? For about ten years now. Toughest training I've ever done, and was the proudest day of my life when I got my ranger badge. Did you know that the first battle at Hoover Dam was won because of the rangers? Legion had the numbers, but we had the skill. What do you do here? Ranger Station Alpha used to be the frontline outpost for NCR. When we moved on to the dam, this station has fallen into more a support role. Goodbye. 
So long. Hello. This post isn't someplace a civilian ought to be. Anything going on around you? Just the usual. Legion scouts try to slip across the river a couple of times a week, but they always end up floating down river with holes in their heads. What is this place? Ranger Station Alpha. Ranger Lineholm is in command here. Tell me about the Rangers. I'm not really much of a historian. The short version is that the Rangers are the elite of the NCR military. Best fighters in the wasteland. Goodbye. Don't get killed out there. Try not to. Just a ranger. No, I'm not stealing from these. Uh, okay. What are the enemies? Big corners. I'll just leave him alone. Just making sure. Don't know what they're for, but I'll collect it anyway. Getting close. Oh, you like fiend. Got a grenade. That's what he's trying to throw at me. Where's that coming from? Okay then. Oh. Hello. Isaac? I don't handle buying and selling for the gun runners. Talk to the robot in the kiosk near our factory. So you work for the gun runners? For around five years now. I handle the supply end of things, raw materials and stuff. Who are the gun runners? Makers of the finest high grade weapons and ammunition in the wasteland. If you ever get your hands on a piece of sweet, deadly hardware, there's a good chance that it came from one of our factories. Any chance... Let's try that again. Any chance I could get a tour of the gun runner factory? None whatsoever. Everything inside the fence is off limits, and the guards have strict orders to shoot to kill. 
A lot of our high-end weaponry comes from pre-war military schematics. If our competition got a hold of them, it'd be bad for business. Who's in charge of the gunrunners? Out here, we don't have bosses. Me, the gunsmiths, and the guards all know what we're supposed to be doing. Working for the gunrunners is a sweet job. None of us would dare screw it up. Uh, goodbye. Later. I've got no time for games. Three sides, east gate. Looking for a fix, man? I got what you need. What are you selling? Have a look, baby. Yeah, of course there's drugs. It looks like you sold drugs. Um Psycho. Give me a shout if you need anything else. You look like you take them too. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, is there an enemy? Three side thug. I don't think so. Nice. That's what you get for being a thug. You lose your head. Oh, I can't fling it. Try fighting me with a razor. Well, I shot him first, but whatever. To Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs. That's a kid. Hello. Stop by Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs, sir. Where are you going? I wanted to talk to you. I think I'm going anyway. Hmm, this is an actual free side. King's gang member. Watch yourself. There's some unsavory types about. You remind, remind me of the tunnel snakes. They had the same style. Those squatters think. From Fallout 3. What do we have here? Another petitioner for the king? Who's the king? Who's the king? You believe this asshole man? In Freeside, the kings rule. And the king rules the king, got it? Yes, I'd like to see the king if possible. Well, anything's possible, I suppose. How much is it worth to you to meet the big man? <laughs> How about five? What do I look like a beggar to you? 
Take a hike, cheapskate. Oh, hello. You're not a king. Does the king know you're up here? Probably not. King's outfit. Personal space meaning anything to you, guy? I'm just walking past you. My God. Let's see who wins. Oh, we just run. Get him. Oh. oh. You must have had him. Hello, good sir. You look new to Freeside, so here's a little advice, friend. Don't go past the Southgate greeter without talking to it first. Why wouldn't I want to go past the greeter? Those bots are programmed to vaporize anyone who enters the fenced-in area without authorization from the greeter. Thanks for the advice. Who are you? The name's Old Ben. I've been living in Freeside since the day I was born. What's your story? I've done a bit of everything around here. Courier, butcher, crier, escort, gun for hire. Some of which I'm not proud of, but I do my best to help around town when needed. Courier? I used to be a courier before I got shot in the head. Exactly one of the reasons I got out of that job. Too many shifty characters looking to have someone else move their hot items. Butcher? How did you get into that? My father ran a butcher shop here in town, but business went downhill when another vendor started selling this strange meat at half our prices. That sounds odd. You're telling me. Not long after my father's shop went under and he passed away from the loss, People around town started experiencing shakes. No one gets shakes like that unless they're eating human flesh. But no one would believe me. The sick bastard gradually went insane and passed away. It wasn't long before someone moved into the guy's place and found half-buried human remains in the crawl space. I didn't bother saying told you so. Most probably human meat. Cryer, what was that job? After a while, I made enough money to get a passport into Vegas. Back then, you could get approved for entry for a fraction of what it costs now. Well, I got a job working as a crier outside of the Tops, advertising for the local talent performing at the casino. That didn't last long. What happened? Well, being a suave young guy, I chatted up the ladies from time to time, and one of the manager's girls started to take a liking to me. I never touched the woman, but the jealous prick decided it was my time to go. He framed me by saying I'd stolen from the casino. Sure enough, a few grand was missing from the casino vault. I have to assume the bastard stole the funds and figured I was a convenient fall guy. That's horrible. Yeah, but what can you do? I was stripped of my casino apartment and all of my belongings and booted back into Freeside. From there, I didn't have a lot of career options, as my rep was destroyed. So the escort job sort of fell into my lap. No pun intended. You said escort, like armed guard? I hope. Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but I was packing a whole different kind of heat. No, escort just sounds better than man whore. Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, I could never do that. Well, I didn't have any other career opportunities open to me at the time, and had to make ends meet. I was good at it too, 
But after a while, I just felt like a piece of meat and had to quit. Gun for her? When I quit the escort job, I had enough money to buy a pistol belt and some other gear. Bodyguards make a good, honest living. And I had the wits and physical build to handle most thugs. After saving a few tourists from trouble, I got a reputation for being a stand-up guy again. And after a decade, managed to save up enough to retire. Let's talk about something else. All right. Goodbye. Yep. Yep. You have entered a restricted area. Uh, okay. <laughs> Can I talk to you? Submit to a credit check or present your passport before proceeding to the game. Trespassers will be shot. Credit check? What's that for? Admission to the strip requires an official passport or proof that you are carrying the required minimum balance. These policies prevent less reputable persons from entering and ensure a good time will be had by all who enter the strip. Goodbye. Please return when you have sufficient cash or passport. Alright. Things around. Head just down the street to the silver rock. Hey, baby. Head on down to the Atomic Wrangler if you want to have a good time. Okay. That's the time I go angler. Right there. Let's check it out. Sounds like a brothel. Hello there. Oh, hey. Right. Hmm, you play slots in you. Not a move on gambling. Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. What can I get you? What goods and services do you have to offer? We've got liquor, chems, and whores aplenty. Pick your fix and we'll oblige. Our only rule is no sampling the merchandise. Caps paid in advance. If you'd like to do a bit of gambling, we have an exchange at the back of the casino on the left. Do you have any work, work you need to done around you? I have some work I need handled. Back before we instituted the caps up front rule, we used to allow customers tabs. Well, needless to say, a few customers snuck out without paying their bills. We need someone to collect. The job would pay a percentage. What kind of caps are we talking about? If you bring all their debts back, we'll give you a cut of each. 25% is more than fair. It would add up to 150 caps if you bring them all in. Huh. Alright. Great. There are three people who need to be tracked down. A real mixed basket of fruits. Their names are Grex, Santiago, and Lady Jane. Rex? Rex is a bit cracked, but mostly harmless. Just don't mention anything about his lazy eye. He owes 138 caps and should still be around Freeside. Lady Jane? Lady Jane fancies herself a high roller, but she's just another dirtbag NCR prospector. I'm not sure where to find her. I hear she's run goods for the followers of the Apocalypse in the past, but other locals might know more. She owes us 250 caps. Santiago. Santiago is a suave son of a bitch, but a total pansy when it comes to fisticuffs. He owes 212 caps and should be around Freeside as well. That's all for now. Anything else you need? Ah, oh, goodbye. Bye. All right. Hello. Hello, cool. Whoa, baby. Am I looking at a mirror? Or are you just that ugly? Excuse me? What? You mean you're not part of the act? Huh. Sorry. Thought you were the heckler Garrett hired to spice up the shows. So you perform stand-up comedy, huh? 
Yeesh, is my act that bad? Or are you just that dumb? Yeah, that's right. Got me a nice juicy contract with the management. Judging from the economic state of Freeside, they can't be paying you that much. Okay, I admit it. I ain't exactly rowing in caps here, but what do you want? I'm under contract. I can't get out. So who are you exactly? Either you need to get your eyes checked, or that famous fleeting thing is true. And since I happen to be world famous, you must be going blind. Name's Hadrian. Bet you never saw a ghoul in a suit before, huh? Of course, you don't exactly strike me as the worldly type. Good boy. Yeah, go on. Scram. Yep. Hello? Welcome to the Atomic Wrangler. Looking to exchange? I had, I do have NCN Legion money. Yeah, I want to exchange NCN money. How many chips money. would you like? Forty. Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, that's it. Later. Oh, can I actually? Oh yes. I'm in the mood now. Let's go five. Ten. Hit. Fifteen. I'm gonna stay. Yes. So I'm talking about. Okay. Let's go. Ten this time. Hit. Oh, that's 20, so I'll stay. Oh, I got my chips back. Hmm, should we rule that? Two five one red. Ice. Welcome to the Atomic Rank. In what currency would you like? Picking caps. Caps it is. How much caps do I get? 45. Later. I'll take it. We can exchange those currencies for caps. I am now a loan shark. A debt collector. Oh, 
Hello. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons. I'm afraid I'm going to have to search you before letting you in. The only weapons allowed on the premises are the ones we're selling. Uh, okay, so that's right. It should only take a moment. There. I've stored all of your weapons. You're clear to enter. When you leave, I'll hand them all back to you. Okay, then. The bosses are having a meeting. You'll have to wait until it's over. Alright. So, how is business, guys? Mr. Soren, please get to the point. The second half of your payment is late, and I want to know why. Miss Van Graff, my associates and I have decided that we wish to renegotiate the terms of our deal. Might I ask for what reason? The shipment was delivered. The guns were tested before leaving this facility. Regardless, we feel that the quality of the weapons is below expectation and hope to adjust the price accordingly. Ah, I think I understand what the issue here is. Excuse me for a moment, would you? Do it. Never break faith with the Van Graffs, Mr. Soren. I expect you'll have the rest of our payment ready tomorrow morning. Okay, everyone. Show's over. Back to work. Who was that? Get the fuck away from me. The last man who bothered me volunteered to help test our weapons. I just wanted to speak to you. Jesus. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you have for sale? Of course. Welcome to the Silver Rush, where only top-of-the-line energy weapons can be found. What can I do for you? Mind if I ask you some questions? Not at all. What do you think of the gunrunners? There are chief competitors in this region and many others. That makes them our enemies. While I respect their business acumen, I'm obligated to try to destroy them however I can. That's business, after all. What do you know of Mr. House? Very little. Same as everyone else. We attempted to deal with him when we first moved into the area, but had no luck. He must have his own weapons supplies to keep as many laser-armed robots operational as he does. Makes me wonder where they are. I was wondering if you had any work available. It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Think you can handle that? Sure, come in. Wonderful. I already have a man outside who can show you the ropes and get you set up. His name is Simon. He's been with the family for years, so listen to what he says and follow his instructions. Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? Miss Bowser. Please let me know if anything catches your eye. Well, I do need money. Get my guns back. Welcome to the Sylve. Ah, oh, crap. Don't tell me you're my new guard. How did you know? You can always tell a rookie. You look too eager. Get the job a few hours, and the shine will come right off. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. At least you come get my stuff back.
Good. Look around and get a feel for what customers and risks can enter and exit the area. I'll get your gear ready. Okay, now let's get you geared up. First, your armor. Standard issue is your run-of-the-mill combat armor, with a nice dark coat of paint for both brand recognition and sheer intimidation value. Next, your weapon. Guards are required to use rifles. Anything lighter compromises your combat effectiveness. Anything heavier and people are too scared to come in the door. What's your preference? Laser or plasma? Uh, give me laser. Good choice. I prefer laser-based weapons myself. But the boss lady says she wants at least one guard using a plasma rifle. Says the lightning bits draw in more people. Whatever. Now that you're equipped, a quick word on the job at hand. In a nutshell, we're here to keep the riffraff away. Drunks, punks, and capless vermin are to be turned away. Potential customers are to be permitted normal entrance. That is, after we pat them down for weapons. An unarmed man is a lot less likely to try to steal something with several armed guards around. Don't start any fights. I don't care if some jet junkie just insulted your mother. We're here to promote violence elsewhere, not start it here. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. That goes double for any thoughts of splitting with that gear. Every now and then, some young punk thinks he can run off with Van Graaff property. Trust me, the rifle and armor are nice, but they're not worth your life. Other than that, relax. There's usually some eye candy coming and going from the Wrangler over there at some point, so the view's not too bad. All right. Settle in. You got some hours left before your shift ends. Okay. Here comes a plan. I'll let you handle this. Hey, I need to stay up, man. Hello, good sir. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? Sorry, sir, but I can't let you in. Company policy. Sounds like a stupid policy to me. Good. Stick to the rules. No drunks, junkies, whatever. I know. Another one coming. You're on. Oh. He looks like a man with caps. Hello. Uh, hi. I was, uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look at your weapons. Can I go in? We're going to have to search you first. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Didn't say it was. Heads up. Looks like we got another customer. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Certainly. We need to pat you down for weapons first. Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? In the word, no. If that's the case, then I guess I'll go spend my money elsewhere. Wow, you're a real people person, aren't you? Looks like that guy's headed this way. Don't screw it up.
Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? I'm gonna search you first. That's not really necessary, is it? I already told you I got this here revolver, right? It's company policy. Now are you gonna let it search you or what? Damn, I knew this wasn't gonna work. Now what in the hell do you suppose that was about? It's a nut. To whom it may concern, if you are reading this, then I am likely dead. I can only hope that I have managed to take out some of those thrice damned Van Graffs with me. My family deserves that much at least. Crap. This I do not need today. Keep your head straight, bro. Things are about to get interesting. Oh, it's one of those kings, guys. Hey, Simon. How's it hanging? Looks like you've got a little help for the day. What can I say? Business has been good lately. Looking forward to help. Good to hear, buddy. So is the boss lady in? You know she is. Why don't you go in and say hi? Nah, I got some rounds to run. But do pass along that I'm always thinking of her. Actually, I got a better idea. Make the new hire tell her. You'll do that for me, won't you? Why not tell her yourself? I would, but I tend to distract the boss lady a little too much. She can't help herself. Anyway, I got things to do. Later, Simon. Way to keep your head, rookie. Let's hope for you yet. Of course. It's just about closing time. Let's go see the boss about getting paid. Oh, I'm gonna need the rifle and armor back. Boss's orders. Sure. Went quite well. Simon's been telling me how it went. Let's do a quick recap. You had a little bit of a hard time following instructions, but didn't do too bad overall. Here's your pay. Unfortunately, I found someone else with a little more experience, and he'll take over the position starting tomorrow. However, another task has come up that I could use some help with, assuming you're still interested in making some money. Keep talking. There's a deal that we've been working on for a while now, and the buyer would like a sample of our weapons. I need you to run a package out to a discreet location that the client has chosen. Sound good? I'll do it. Good. Here's the package. I'll mark the location on your map. The buyer said they'd be in town for quite a while, so there's no rush. That said, try not to dawdle. This client could mean big money for us, which naturally means big money for you. Why startle me? You idiot. Good shooting. I'm hit! Yeah. You're Grex. Come on! Like that? Bloody hell. Teach you to mess with me. Oh, you're Grex. Hey, man, can you spare a few caps? <laughs> Collect their money to pay back the garrets? Whoa, yeah. I guess the garrets set you after me. Look, I've got the caps right here. Just don't hurt me. That'll do. Mess with the garrets again and you're dead. I won't. Thanks for not killing me. 
No problem. Or is this will be you? Right there. This will be you. Hello there. Welcome to the Crimson Caravan Company. How can I help you today? Oh, you're the guys who Ringo's talking about. Who are you? The name's Hostum. Don Hostum. Can I help you with something? Is there any work to be had here? You know, hiring isn't really my department. You should talk to Miss McLafferty about work for hire. What? Their enemy somewhere. Scorpions. Alright, go on, close up. Can't go wrong with the never mind. Are you the Van Graff's emissary? I am. Do you have what we requested? Who's we? We were told there would be no questions. Do you have what we requested or not? Nice idea. Right huh. Then our business is concluded. Tell your superiors that we will contact them shortly. Welcome back. Did you have news for me, or are you just here for the guns? Deliver the package as requested. And? Don't leave me in suspense. What was their reaction? You said you're here for them soon. Good. Good. 
Here's your payment. If you'll excuse me, I have some thinking to do. Oh. Jean-Baptiste was talking about a matter earlier that he needs help with. I volunteered you. See him for the details. What you got? Ah, just the person I was looking for. Your name came up in a discussion we had recently. My sister is very impressed with you so far, but I'm not. I don't think you have what it takes to work for this family. Luckily for you, I'm going to give you a chance to prove me wrong. What do you say? Want to make some real money? What would I have to do? No, no, no. That's not how it works. You don't get to weigh the options. You're either in or you're out. I'm in. All right, then. If we're going to work together, there's only one thing you need to know about me. I like things simple. Recently, Glory negotiated a deal between us and a big-time player. We're talking more caps than you've probably seen in a lifetime. Your part in this is simple. To finalize this deal, I need to tie up a loose end. To do that, there's a girl I need you to find. Who is this girl? Her name is Rose of Sharon Cassidy. That's some fancy shit, right? Don't know what her mother was thinking with a name like that. But this girl and I, we need to have a discussion. Find her. Bring her here so I can talk to her one-on-one. -on -one. Do you know where she is? Fuck no. If I knew where this bitch was, you think I'd be asking you? Still, there's someone who might. Old Alice McLafferty, Crimson Caravan, might know something. She keeps tabs on caravan traffic in the Mojave. Wouldn't put it past her to keep track of Cassidy Caravans and its owner. Anything you say to her, you can say it to me. You don't want us chatting, trust me. As for the girl, I just want to talk to her. And if you can't bring her here, then you're no use to me or Gloria. So if you want to cause trouble in here over nothing, then go on, try. If I run across her, let her know. Find her, bring her back here so we can talk. Needless to say, there's some good money in it for you. It better be. And I'm gonna leave it here. If you liked what you see, give me a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Oh!